My name is Brie, well, Brown Sugar Brie, also known as Brie. Um, this is my first YouTube situation um, coming at you live. Um, and yeah, um, I've been meaning to start this channel up for the longest. And I, with all this free time on my hands, I was like, why not? Why not? And ain't no time like the present, you know? So. We're gonna go ahead and get into it. Um, I just, my hair is freshly washed and deep conditioned. So we're good to go on this uh, on this part. I'm gonna show you the products that I'm using and yeah, we're just gonna twist it out. I'm just gonna show you guys how I twist my hair. Um, I might insert, insert some clips about my how my hair used to look. So maybe look right here right here how my hair used to look because i recently cut my hair back in january so now i have like this kind of tapered cut where my hair used to be like like about right here so i'm gonna use i'm gonna show you products that i'm using and then we'll get back into it so the products i'm gonna be using today are um o ors let me see if i can get it to focus out ors um curls unleash coconut avocado does it all smoothie styler i really like this it's super moisturizing it's a little bright it's super moisturizing and like it leaves my hair feeling super super good and with this i don't need a leave-in when i do like my cream because i use a cream like a a stock a, not a custard but like a gel i use cream gel then oil so let me use that now we use one of my staples this is my my l organics is pomegranate and honey coil sculpting custard this this is my staple this is like my fifth jar, probably seventh jar since the since the line has launched. Um, I love using this for wash and goes, um, twist outs, braid outs, whatever the case is. Yes, on my short and long hair. So yes, and then the oils I'll be using it'll be a concoction of jojoba oil and vitamin E oil just to kind of um, what's the word seal in that moisture. Good guy had a little blooper, a little the moment but still in that moisture so these are two oils i'm gonna be using and that's really it because um i really my hair has been really funny lately as far as leave-ins so i haven't really been able to find a lot of leave-ins that my hair likes so but if i like i said if i use this um just this like the little set i showed you um my hair is usually really fine as far as moisture so let's hop in hair and yes i do have colored hair Profesh professionally colored hair we do not do box colors we don't do box colors so this is how my hair is looking it's not too bad i'm not mad at it at all it's been in that um t-shirt i wrap my hair in t-shirts um for about 15 20 minutes so it's kind of dry honestly so we'll be putting some moisture back in my hair um which of course spray bottle So yeah, um, and now and I'm just gonna kind of talk in between, of course, to show you guys, tell you guys what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. But I'm also just gonna kind of tell you little tidbits about me. Um, so you guys can kind of get to know me a little bit better um, as we go on through this natural journey. So give me a minute and we'll come right back. So um, just let you guys know, so you guys don't think I switched up. I'm using, um, I'm using this jojoba oil. It's organic jojoba oil. It's the same thing. Um, but I just put some vitamin E in it. So I just shook it up and it's really good. And now we are going to begin. The tools I'm going to be using is, of course, a beautiful Demon brush. This one's actually by Kentu. I got it from Target. I got it from Target. It does have hair in it. Please do not judge me. Um... I use the end of a rat tail comb. Um, the reason why I do like my hair to kind of be parted because the way I like my hair to be um, laying a certain way is because it, as you guys can see, even though I just got the cut in January and it's growing out, it's still in its shape. So I like the shape to be seen. So I usually just come about right there, give or take. Let me look in the mirror. Right there, give or take. 
maybe a little bit. Nowadays, I like to give this side just a little bit more hair. Can't find my normal rat tail comb, of course. That, man, when I tell you, when I use the end, it gives me this beautiful, perfect part. It's beautiful, but honestly, this will do because um, my hair will probably stay in twists for a while, for a couple of days, because we are, um, hopefully by the time this video actually posts, um, we are right now going through that, uh, going through the Corno, Corn, Canova, Cornova, Canova, Canova, Canova virus, Canova virus, Lord, we're going through that, the virus spell and pandemic, um, good God, I can't talk today, we're going through that, so, um, I forgot the reason why I was telling you that, so I'm just gonna kind of continue. crazy but you, as you guys know you gotta work through the process so i sectioned my hair in like one two three with clips with three different sections but it's really in like five because the back of my hair so the back of my hair as you guys can see is like the little curlies the little beady beads um so i really don't need to like twist it per se so i usually just finger coil it and then the sides and then well this side of my hair has grown longer but this side i can twist as well so i can actually do twists so yeah, actually, I might as well click that poo, that little part too, be just to keep it a band. So the way I usually like doing my hair personally, I kind of like work the sides, of course, and then get to the middle because that's where all of my hair is on the sides, and I mean in the middle. So I, like I said, I work the sides, then I do my middle, which is all of this. So let's get into it. Um, of course. So we're gonna go ahead and moisture, re-moisture it up a little bit. And just to show you guys the texture. So white. Yeah, there we go, just so you can see the texture. It's just a cream. It's not like goopy or anything like that. There we go. Um, I like putting a generous amount on that, especially since I'm going to be in the house a lot. I like my, I want my hair to be very moisturized. I mean, it's just going to be in a satin bonnet more than likely all day, unless I'm going somewhere or someone's coming over, but I have no one. I just wonder if you're going to love me. Never. So it really doesn't matter, but yeah. So I just like work that all around. And lately the way I like laying, layering my products is cream, like cause there's a lock method, there's the LCO method, there's it's so many different methods to the point where whatever works for you works for you and your hair. Cause you always, even though you might see the latest new craze, you might see the latest new trend, whatever the case is, but you always have to get back to the point of what does your hair like? Your hair doesn't like, let's just say coconut oil and you keep putting coconut oil. You, of course your hair's gonna either be dry or um, it's not retaining the moisture that you like or whatever the case is. Um, you have to research and see what your hair likes because there's so many different options nowadays. It's not like way, way, way before when it was only like maybe four brands with natural care products. like. Everybody got their hand in a natural care po hair pot. One, because they know black women are the most lucrative um, as far as hair care. And two, it's just the trend now. Like Everyone is becoming like, has a natural line. L'Oreal has a natural line. Pantene, um, Dove, I think. Even Dove has a natural line. So it's just gotta keep up with it. But anyways. So I put that on there. So now I'm gonna open. I'm gonna open my baby. And I use this a lot, as you can see. Now this is definitely more of a, a, a slimier kinda, I don't wanna pour it all the way out on my lid, but yeah, it's that slimier texture. I love it though. <sighs> this 
smells so freaking good. And this smells good. I don't really smell it, man. But this smells super, super good. So I like to get a good, generous amount. Like, can you see it on my tips? I like to get a generous amount, and I'll, I'm just trying to write, I guess. And I rake it through. Right here, I am distributing the Myel Organics custard that I had in my hands. And I'm just going eat, um, making sure it's evenly distributed. I'm going back and I'm adding a little bit of oil on my hands. Um, sometimes, depending on the section, I like layering my products a little bit differently. Sometimes it'll be cream oil or custard oil cream. I don't know. It just depends. And now, as you can see, I'm just take. I'm trying to take my time, but I'm also rushing a little bit. But you guys are about to see a little bit of the juiciness real quick wait for it wait Ooh, look at that um but really as long as you take your time with something like that your results will always uh, be popping to be real all right so i'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys i noticed when i was playing back the video the audio was a bit low so i wanted to make sure you guys heard me pretty clearly um so as you guys can see i did re-moisturize with water and i'm going in with my cream right now and then i'm gonna go reach for my deming brush so with your deming brush you always want to start at the bottom of your section and work your way up because if you don't you're just kind of adding unnecessary tension and possibly unnecessary breakage um, I went ahead and I added my custard, whoop, 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 and I'm going in with my oil. I got to get in the cracks and the crevices, not just your hair, but your scalp. And then I, you see I was able to naturally uh, part with my finger because I literally part my hair in the same sections all the time. And now I am going in with my twist. So here goes the twist. And you always want to get down to as far as you can and then twist your bottom. And then voila. Also, just to say this out loud, your twists um, don't need to look perfect. You know what I'm saying? You want to twist them to your best ability. You want to make sure you uh, twirl your ends to close that twist. But they don't necessarily need to look perfect. And now you just jump to the next section. I did my side my like right there my back pieces so we can start in the middle so now my middle as you guys can see is very very dry so we gonna hydrate her um yeah but yeah so uh, I guess to kind of get start I'm a little late on it but just to start telling you guys about me my name is Bree um I and soon to be 25, 25 years old. Oh my God, look at this. Brie, what are you doing? What is this, what is going on here? Good God. That really irritates me, but it's fine. We're gonna keep pushing. Cause I'm using my finger anyway, so I can't get mad. I'm about to be 25, so that's awesome. Um, What else, what else about me? I mean, the main chunks I tell people about me, um, I have a 19 year old dog. I have a 19 year old dog. Yes, she is 19. She was born January 7, 2001. Um, let me see. Her name is Princess, too, by the way. I got her, you gotta remember, I got her when I was like, what? Like five, five, six ish. Um, so I named her Princess Bratz Gregory. Bratz, like the Brat dolls. Ooh, moisture princess brat brats gregory um what else what else i'm a big huge beyonce fan stan a lover of her arts whatever you want to call it but that's me um put, i'm gonna put some more in the crevices because i want this to be moisturized um what else I'm pretty chill. I've been natural. I've been natural five years. 
Um, let's see. I live in a wonderful apartment with my one of my best friends. Her name is Daisha. We met at work. Um, oh, let me step back so you can see me. Start at the bottom, work your way up, work your way up. Let's see. We've been here about what? A year, almost a year, so that's nice. That sh that shit stuff, that shit that people say you're gonna move out at 21 and da da da, and everything will come. That is a lie. Do not believe. I mean, it happens for some, but I I want to say maybe not most. Um, let's see. Put a little gel on it. Um, what else? What else? What else? I'm pretty I'm pretty a chill girl. I love my natural hair. I really don't wear protective styles like that, but this year I told myself, ooh. Ooh, I could do a wash you, but I'm not. This year I want I told myself I wanted to do more protective styles. Um just so I can get my hands out of my hair. Um because I do want to grow my hair back now. Cause of course now that I cut it. I miss my hair deeply, deeply. It's just, it's just been hard. I must, yeah. I decided to split it up just a little bit because I do want to make it a little smaller, a little bit more defined. Um, my favorite movie is Little Mermaid slash Forrest Gump. Oh no, no. Like, tell me what else you guys want to know about me, because. Of course, this, I want this to be like an open situation, an open conversation kind of situation. I know about you, you know about me, so on and so forth. Um, we, you know, we just hop on every week, have a good time, do a little hair, you know, show a little slayage. And yeah. So the whole Kanoka, kon God, debris, with the whole virus situation, it's kind of like. Wow, like I don't like. Granted, I'm off of work, luckily and paid. Thank God, um, by the grace of God. But at the same time, it's not because of reasons like I necessarily want to be off. Like it's a whole virus spreading, you know. And it's you're hearing so much from the left side, so much from the right side. This is what you should do. Nobody got groceries, like Walmart and stuff. Like you literally, I literally drove 20 minutes. 20 minutes to go find some water. And I know it might not seem like far, but I have two Walmarts in my, three Walmarts in my area, a Target, a Dollar Tree. Like I have so much, so many different places to go to get water and none of them have water. Walmart, a lot of Walmarts here don't even have chicken. Like it's really, it's really, really crazy um, to see what's going on right now. But, um, I'm just keeping a level head. I, I know what, you know, God does have for me and have for my family, have for my people. I know he is in control at the end of the day. Wow. And sorry not to get a side note, but look at that, man. That is like, that is premium wash and go material right there. But we're going to twist it. But I know what he has. I know he has everything covered. And with, just with that thought, with that notion, I feel more at ease you know and of course I'm gonna stay in the house and not try to go out as much or if at all because I mean honestly I mean anyways they're shutting down everything anyway so it's not like it's not like I could go somewhere if I really necessarily wanted to but still And other than that, you know, um, positive vibes. And I think I missed a piece right here. I hope I didn't. No, I didn't. Yeah. My fault, y'all. My roommate came in. She just got her hair done. So I'm just going to. All right, you see we're at that top section. We are at the last piece, nitty and the gritty. Well, not the last piece, but the last section of hair. Um, so right now, as you can see, I'm just going through and twisting my hair. And that's what the next few clips, that's what you're going to see. Just me really just twisting my hair. And you're going to see my mouth move because I am talking, but I really ain't talking about nothing. So enjoy. I'm 
done. I'm done. And this is how my hair looks. This is how my hair looks. Yes, it looks a little crazy, but trust me, when I take it down, it'll be looking amazing. Um, I know you guys can see a lot of the ex excess I have on my hair. You can use like a towel or a cotton t-shirt to kind of blot it off. But like I said, I'm going to be wearing my twist for a couple of days, so I really don't care about it. But yeah, um, thank you so much for sticking around with me on my first video. Um, of course, let me know what you guys want to see, what you guys want me to do, um, whatever the case is. If not, um, this is really it. Um, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you. Like, comment, subscribe, share as much as you can, and I hope you guys have a great one, and please stay safe. Bye. I'm surrounded by your embrace Baby, I can see your halo You know you're my saving grace You're everything I need and more It's written all over your face Baby, I can see your halo I pray you won't fade away